A Whisper of AIDS by Mary Fisher, given in August 19th of 1992 in Houston, Texas, is the speech that I will be giving today. Uh, months before she delivered her speech, she had asked the Republican Party to talk at this time and to take away the silence that had been draped over the issue of HIV and AIDS. I'm going to read the first beginning paragraphs of her speech and then end with her concluding paragraph um, because I think it has a very important message in it. I would have never asked to be HIV positive, but I believe that in all things there is a purpose. And I stand before you and the nation gladly. The reality of AIDS is brutally clear. 200,000 Americans are dead or dying, and a million more are infected. Worldwide, 40 million, 60 million, or 100 million infections will be counting, counted in the coming few years. But despite science and research, White House meetings and congressional hearings, despite good intentions and bold initiatives, campaign slogans and helpful promises, it is, despite it all, the epidemic which is winning tonight. In the context of an election year, I ask you here in this great hall, or listening in the quiet of your home, to recognize the AIDS virus is not a political creature, that it does not care whether you are a Democrat or Republican, does not ask whether you are black or white, male or female, gay or straight, young or old. Tonight, I represent an AIDS community whose members have been reluctantly drafted from every segment of American society. Though I am white and a mother, I am one with the black infant struggling with tubes in a Philadelphia hospital. Though I am female and contracted this disease in marriage and enjoy the warm support of my family, I am one with the lonely gay man sheltering a candle, a flickering candle, from the cold winds of his family's rejection. This is not a distant threat, it is a present danger. The rate of infection is increasingly fastest among women and children. Largely unknown a decade ago, AIDS is the third leading killer of young adult Americans today. But it won't be third for long, because unlike other diseases, this one travels. Adolescents don't give each other cancer or heart disease because they believe they are in love. But HIV is different, and we have helped it along. We have killed each other with our ignorance, our prejudice, and our silence. To all within the sound of my voice, I appeal. Learn with me the lessons of history and of grace. So my children will not be afraid to say the word AIDS when I am gone. Then, their children and yours may not need to whisper it at all. <laughs>